So what we've done is we've created a synthetic rope product to replace the steel wire. It's really a step forward in the future of what can you do to improve crane application. By decreasing the weight of the rope, you can increase the lift capacity. Also, since the rope is that much lighter, eventually you'll be able to reduce the weight of the hook blocks and the headache balls because the overhaul weight for the rope will be significantly less. From an operator standpoint, the biggest difference you'll see, I think, is going to be the weight. It's easy to handle, especially when it comes to grieving multiple parts of line on the hook block. The rope itself is torque neutral, so it has no inherent rotation or built-up torsion in it. You virtually eliminate the potential for bird caging, for load spin. It's a malleable type product. You don't have the kinking and types of things that, that can damage your wire rope. The synthetics have some significant benefits in corrosive environments. Uh, they won't get corroded if you're working in acid houses or potash facilities, etc. Also, synthetics aren't lubricated. You don't need to lubricate them with grease or other oils, so it reduces the maintenance time and costs associated with them. Additionally, if synthetics used with very low loads and then lifted with very high loads, you can create diving just like you can with wire. However, the diving does not impact the long-term life of the rope. It is recoverable. You can have that rope pulled back out of it, that dive, retension the rope and load it on properly and then resume work.